Preparing for an interview in the automobile engineering sector can be a daunting task. This video offers a comprehensive guide to the top 25 most frequently asked questions, providing insightful answers to help you ace your interview confidently. Structured by experienced industry professionals, this video not only offers correct answers but also provides the reasoning behind them. With our guide, you'll be well equipped with pertinent information, elevating your chances of landing that dream job in automobile engineering. 1. Tell me about yourself. As an automotive engineer with over 10 years of experience in the field, I've been able to hone my skills in design, testing, and development. In my previous role, I was responsible for improving the performance of vehicle systems, which led to an increase in fuel efficiency by 15%. My passion for engineering began when I was a child, fixing cars with my father in our garage. This passion drove me to pursue a degree in mechanical engineering. My ability to find innovative solutions for complex problems, combined with my strong knowledge of automotive systems, has allowed me to succeed in my career. I also pride myself on my ability to lead teams and manage projects effectively. 2. What motivated you pursue career in automotive engineering? My passion for cars and fascination with how they work initially sparked my interest in automotive engineering. This hobbyist interest evolved into a professional pursuit during my studies, where I was captivated by the intricacies of vehicle design and the complexities of engine systems. The constant evolution of technology within the industry, particularly towards sustainable and efficient solutions, further cemented my decision. I'm driven by the desire to contribute to these advancements, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in automotive design and functionality. 3. What are your greatest strengths and weaknesses as an engineer? In terms of strengths, I am a meticulous person who pays attention to the smallest details. This trait has often come in handy when designing and troubleshooting automotive systems. My analytical skills have allowed me to make informed decisions, while my creativity has often led to innovative solutions. On the other hand, one of my weaknesses is that I tend to overthink things. However, I am working on this by focusing on the big picture and not getting bogged down in the minutia. 4. Why do you want to work for our company? I am drawn by the innovative spirit that your company embodies, which is evident in the cutting-edge automotive designs and technologies you consistently produce. The company's commitment to sustainability and the development of environmentally friendly vehicles aligns with my personal values and professional aspirations. I am also impressed by your focus on professional development and fostering a supportive work environment. I believe that working here would give me the opportunity to grow and contribute meaningfully to the automotive industry. I am eager to bring my skills and experiences to contribute to your ongoing projects and initiatives. 5. Where do you see yourself in five years within the automotive industry? My vision for the next five years is rooted in my passion for innovative technology and sustainable design. With the rapid evolution of the automotive industry, I foresee myself spearheading projects focused on electric and autonomous vehicles. I aim to lead a team that designs and develops cutting-edge vehicle technology, pushing the boundaries of fuel efficiency, safety, and user experience. I am also keen on playing a pivotal role in propelling the company's sustainability initiatives, aligning with global efforts to reduce carbon emissions. I believe that this role will be a platform for me to contribute significantly to the industry, pushing it towards a more eco-friendly future. 6. Can you explain the main components of an internal combustion engine? An internal combustion engine comprises several critical components. At its heart is the engine block, a robust structure housing the cylinders where combustion takes place. Inside the cylinders are pistons that move up and down, driven by the explosive force of the fuel-air mixture being ignited. The crankshaft, connected to the pistons via connecting rods, converts this linear motion into rotary motion to drive the vehicle. The fuel-air mixture is regulated by the intake and exhaust valves, controlled by the camshaft. The spark plug provides the ignition source for the fuel-air mixture, and the timing belt ensures all these components work in synchronized harmony. The radiator keeps the engine from overheating, and the oil system lubricates moving parts to reduce friction and wear. 7. Describe your experience with CAD software and how you have used it in your projects. I have developed a solid proficiency with CAD software during my engineering studies and in my professional career. In design projects, I have used CAD extensively to produce 3D models and detailed 2D technical drawings. For example, in my previous role, I used Auto CAD to design components of an engine system. This involved creating complex geometric shapes, performing dimensional analysis, and making necessary adjustments based on real-world testing results. I also leveraged the software's ability to simulate and analyze designs under different conditions which provided valuable insights that guided my design decisions. Utilizing CAD has aided me in enhancing accuracy, efficiency, and effectiveness in my work. 8. What methods do you use to ensure safety and compliance in your designs? The safety and compliance of my designs are ensured through a multi-pronged approach. The first step is to be thoroughly versed in all relevant safety regulations and standards. 
By staying up to date on these guidelines, I can ensure my designs adhere to them from the onset. In addition, I utilize various tools, such as FMEA, failure mode and effects analysis, to predict potential failures and mitigate them in the design phase itself. I also believe in the importance of regular testing and monitoring of designs, using CAD simulations, for instance, to verify their safety and compliance. Finally, I value the input of my peers and other stakeholders, as their feedback can highlight areas of concern that I may have overlooked. 9. How do you approach cost reduction while maintaining quality in your engineering projects? In my engineering projects, cost reduction and quality are both paramount. I approach this by implementing efficient design principles and lean manufacturing concepts. My aim is to create a design that is cost-effective but does not compromise on quality. First, I conduct comprehensive research to identify cost-effective materials and technologies that will not affect the product's performance. I also ensure that our designs are straightforward and easy to manufacture, reducing production costs. I value the importance of regular testing and quality checks throughout the development process to ensure we are on the right track. Finally, I maintain clear communication with suppliers and stakeholders to negotiate costs without compromising on the quality of materials. This approach has proven successful in my past projects and I continually strive to improve it. In terms of maintaining quality, I believe in the robustness of design and process. This involves adhering to strict guidelines and standards to ensure the final product is of high quality and meets the set specifications. Regular audits, process reviews, and continuous improvement initiatives also play a significant role in maintaining quality while reducing costs. By combining these strategies, I can successfully reduce costs while maintaining quality in my engineering projects. 10. Can you walk us through your process for designing a new automotive component? I start by understanding the requirement or problem that needs to be addressed. I then sketch an initial design or concept. I often use CAD software for detailed design and simulation. Feedback is sought from stakeholders at each step. If there are any changes, I revise the design accordingly. After finalizing the design, I create a prototype. This is then tested under various conditions to ensure its functionality and durability. Any issues found during testing are addressed and the design is revised. This process continues until the component meets all the necessary criteria. I also consider factors such as cost, manufacturability and compliance with regulations during the design process. 11. Describe a challenging project you worked on and how you handled it. Working on an ambitious project of redesigning an engine system for better fuel efficiency was my most challenging task. The project required extensive research, testing and development, as well as cooperation with multiple departments. My role was to oversee and coordinate all aspects of the project, ensuring that all components worked seamlessly. Despite facing numerous obstacles, I remained focused and determined. I communicated effectively with my team, keeping everyone informed about the progress and any issues that arose. To address the challenges, I used my problem-solving skills to identify potential solutions. I also sought advice from experts in the field, which proved invaluable in overcoming the technical hurdles. Through perseverance, collaboration, and innovative thinking, we managed to achieve our goal, ultimately improving the engine's fuel efficiency by 20%. This was a significant accomplishment and a testament to our team's dedication and hard work. 12. Explain a time when you identified a major problem in a project and how you resolved it. During one of my previous automotive projects, I discovered that the fuel efficiency of our prototype was significantly lower than our targets. I started by meticulously reviewing the design and technical specifications of the model. I identified that the engine's configuration was not optimized for fuel efficiency. To rectify this, I worked closely with our team of engineers to redesign the engine's configuration. We implemented several changes, including adjusting the fuel injection system and optimizing the aerodynamics of the vehicle. These modifications led to a 20% increase in fuel efficiency, bringing our prototype in line with our original objectives. This experience taught me the importance of thorough testing and the power of collaborative problem solving in engineering projects. 13. Share an experience where your attention to detail significantly impacted a project's outcome. While working on a large-scale engine redesign for a high-performance vehicle, my attention to detail played a pivotal role. During the initial stages, I noticed a small inconsistency in the CAD model's dimensions. It was a minor deviation, but I decided to investigate it further. Upon analysis, I found that this small discrepancy, if overlooked, could have led to a significant imbalance in the engine's performance over time. By identifying and addressing this issue in the beginning, we were able to avert a potential flaw in the design that could have resulted in enormous costs and time delays in the future. This experience underscored the importance of meticulousness in engineering projects. 14. What steps do you take to troubleshoot and diagnose issues in automotive systems? 
My approach to diagnosing issues in automotive systems begins with gathering as much information as possible about the problem. I listen to the customer's description of the problem and then conduct a thorough visual inspection of the vehicle. I use diagnostic tools such as code readers and scan tools to identify any fault codes that might indicate the source of the issue. Then, I analyze the collected data to pinpoint the root cause of the problem. After identifying the problem, I plan and execute the necessary repairs or replacements, always making sure to test the vehicle afterwards to confirm the issue is resolved. I believe that thoroughness and attention to detail are key when troubleshooting automotive issues. 15. Can you discuss a time when you had to work with a multidisciplinary team? Certainly, my past experience involved working with a multidisciplinary team on a complex project. I was given the responsibility of coordinating with team members from various divisions such as design, quality, production, and sales. Managing communications between all these individuals was challenging but necessary for ensuring the project's success. I initiated regular team meetings and set up a shared digital workspace for everyone to access necessary documents and updates, which greatly improved our communication and collaboration. Each team member brought unique skills and perspectives to the table, and I learned a lot about different aspects of automotive engineering by collaborating with them. Despite the challenges, our teamwork led to a successful project completion, demonstrating the value of multidisciplinary collaboration in complex engineering projects. 16. How do you stay current with advancements in automotive technology? I make it a point to stay updated by reading various automotive journals and articles online. I also frequently attend webinars and industry conferences. These platforms often feature experts in the field who discuss the latest technologies and trends. Participating in online forums and communities also provides me with insights from other professionals in the field. Besides, I take part in professional development courses whenever I get the opportunity. This allows me to learn about new software, tools, and methodologies applicable to my work. I believe that continuous learning and adapting is key to staying current in this ever-evolving industry. 17. What role do AI and machine learning play in modern automotive engineering? AI and machine learning have become critical components of modern automotive engineering. They play a significant role in enhancing the safety, efficiency, and convenience of vehicles. For instance, AI is instrumental in developing advanced driver assistance systems, ADAs, like automatic braking, lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control. Machine learning algorithms are used to analyze vast amounts of data from various sensors and make real time decisions thus enabling autonomous driving. They also aid in predictive maintenance by identifying potential issues before they become significant problems, thereby improving vehicle reliability and lifespan. The integration of AI and machine learning has indeed revolutionized the automotive industry, paving the way for smarter, safer, and more efficient vehicles. 18. Discuss the importance of alternative fuel vehicles and your experience with them. My experience with alternative fuel vehicles has been quite extensive, as I've been involved in several projects related to this area. I've had the opportunity to work on the design and development of electric and hybrid vehicles, which has allowed me to understand their significance in reducing carbon emissions and dependence on fossil fuels. In my view, alternative fuel vehicles are not just an option, but a necessity for a sustainable future. My experience with them ranges from understanding the intricacies of their power systems, to dealing with the challenges posed by their batteries and energy management systems. I've also worked on improving their efficiency, which I believe is crucial for their widespread acceptance and use. 19. How would you approach testing and validifying new vehicle technologies? In testing and validating new vehicle technologies, I would first create a comprehensive testing plan. This includes defining what needs to be tested, setting parameters, and determining the expected results. Once the plan is ready, I would proceed to conduct the tests using various methods such as simulation testing, lab testing, and field testing. During the testing phase, I would meticulously document the results for each test. If the results do not match the expected outcomes, I would diagnose the issue, make necessary modifications, and retest. This process would be repeated until the desired results are achieved. After successful testing, I would then move to validation, wherein I would ensure that the technology meets the defined requirements and specifications. This would be done through rigorous assessment, review, and analysis. 20. What are some key manufacturing principles that are crucial for automotive production? A key principle in automotive production is lean manufacturing. This methodology aims at reducing waste without compromising productivity. It involves identifying and eliminating non-value-adding activities, hence increasing efficiency and quality. Another principle is just-in-time, JIT, manufacturing. This strategy minimizes inventory costs by producing and delivering parts exactly when needed in the production process. It requires accurate forecasting and reliable suppliers to prevent production delays. The Six Sigma methodology plays a crucial role in automotive production. 
It is a set of techniques and tools for process improvement, aiming to reduce defects and variability, which leads to improved quality and reduced costs. Finally, the implementation of automation and robotics in the production line has become essential. It not only increases speed and efficiency but also improves safety by reducing the risk of human error and injuries. Environmental sustainability is also a key principle. This involves using eco-friendly materials and processes, as well as developing energy-efficient vehicles. These principles, when effectively integrated, can result in high-quality, cost-effective, and sustainable automotive production. 21. Describe an instance where you demonstrated leadership skills in a team setting. In my previous role as a senior engineer at XYZ Motors, I was entrusted with the task of leading a team of junior engineers on a critical project that involved developing a new electric drivetrain system. The team was initially hesitant due to the complexity and novel nature of the project. Recognizing this, I took the initiative to break down the project into manageable tasks and assigned these based on each individual's strengths. I encouraged open communication within the team, fostering an environment where everyone felt comfortable expressing their ideas and concerns. Regular team meetings were held to track progress and address any issues promptly. My leadership resulted in the successful and timely completion of the project, with the team gaining valuable experience and confidence. 22. How do you handle stress when managing important projects? In order to successfully manage stress during important projects, I've developed a few effective strategies. First, I prioritize tasks based on their importance and deadlines. This helps me to focus on one task at a time, minimizing overwhelming feelings. Second, I ensure clear and open communication with my team members. This way, we can easily address issues as they arise, reducing potential stressors. Taking regular breaks and maintaining a healthy work-life balance is also crucial for me. It allows me to rest and recharge, ensuring I can perform at my best. Finally, I find that having a positive mindset and being able overall challenges as opportunities for growth instead of threats greatly helps in managing stress. 23. What checks and balances do you use to avoid making mistakes in your work? To prevent errors, I utilize a multifaceted approach. First, I employ meticulous planning. This allows me to anticipate potential issues and devise a strategy to mitigate them. Second, I use comprehensive checklists. This ensures that no step or aspect is overlooked. Third, I rely heavily on peer reviews and feedback. This provides an extra layer of scrutiny and an opportunity to catch any errors that I may have missed. Lastly, I prioritize continuous learning and improvement. This helps me to stay updated on the latest industry best practices and innovations, which I can then incorporate into my work to improve quality and efficiency. 24. Can you provide an example of how you've improved a design or process in your previous roles? In my previous role as a senior automotive engineer at XYZ Corp., I was tasked with optimizing the design of the fuel injection system. I noted that the existing design was causing fuel wastage due to inefficient distribution. I therefore initiated an in-depth analysis of the current design and identified key areas for improvement. I incorporated better materials and redesigned the injector's layout for more precise fuel delivery. This change resulted in substantial fuel savings, enhancing the vehicle's efficiency by 15%. The process also resulted in a design that was easier to manufacture and assemble, reducing production time. This experience highlighted the importance of continuous improvement and innovation in my work. I am always looking for ways to improve efficiency and effectiveness in automotive design and processes. 25. What is the most significant lesson you've learned from a setback or failure in your career? My most significant lesson arose from a project that didn't go as planned. I was responsible for engineering a component and despite meticulous planning, the finished product did not meet specifications. This failure was disappointing and costly. It taught me the importance of thorough testing and validation at every stage. I learned it's better to catch errors early rather than having to wreck the overall project later. This setback also reminded me that failure is not the end but an opportunity to learn and improve. Now, I'm more diligent and proactive, with a better understanding of the importance of each step in the engineering process. We hope this comprehensive list of the top 25 automobile engineering interview questions and answers has been beneficial in your preparation for your upcoming job interviews. These questions not only gauge your knowledge about the subject but also test your understanding and ability to apply the concepts in real-life scenarios. With the right preparation and practice, you can confidently answer these questions and leave a lasting impression on your potential employers. Please support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel for more such informative content. Good luck!